An unprecedented partnership has prevented the extinction of the only rabbit native to Greater New England, the New England Cottontail. Extinction threatened this once common cottontail as its young forest habitat disappeared from the landscape, shrinking the species' range to five isolated populations across six states. The New England cottontail has declined by over 80% over the last 50 to 60 years. Their habitats are pretty small, especially in Maine and New Hampshire, and in other states there's also young forest and shrubland lacking on the landscape. We've lost a lot of this habitat to succession, which is growth into mature forest. Um, of course that's going to happen, but we also don't have natural disturbances like we're here prior to European settlement that used to create this habitat naturally. In 2008, state and federal biologists began a coordinated effort to help the species rebound. They outlined the necessary actions in a thorough conservation strategy that guides work on the ground. Great strides have been made to reach the strategy's goals. Habitat projects are showing increased numbers of cottontails, and the effort is closing in on the 2030 population goal. One of the main goals here is to create early successional forest habitat by removal of some of the overstory trees that you can see around me. These trees will be cut and removed to create openings in the forest canopy to encourage young sapling growth to create a thicket of vegetation that is not only excellent for New England cottontail but other early successional species. For the first time in history, New England cottontails were successfully bred and raised in captivity in several locations. We're here on Patience Island today uh, to complete the third leg of a journey which began at Roger Williams Park Zoo, establishing a breeding colony here on Patience Island. So these rabbits were born uh, at 12, 8 to 12 weeks ago at the zoo spent time at the zoo. Once they were weaned from their mothers, they were brought to Ninigrit, uh, where there was a holding pen at Ninigrit Wildlife Refuge. Have been relocated to Patience Island and released into the wild environment so that they can uh, begin, hopefully, to reestablish a on-site population, a self-sustaining population. Well, when you look at the, the land ownership in the Northeast, approximately 70% of it is owned by private landowners. So if we just focused on town and state-owned properties or federally-owned properties, we'd be missing a large opportunity with the habitat that we have for opportunities to improve the uh, populations for the New England cottontail. Um, the Sprague Corporation and the family uh, are environmentalists. Uh, we love to incorporate here on this property uh, wildlife management, forest management, and all those things that uh, tie to property maintenance fits really well with uh, the New England Cottontail and the program here. The habitat work that's being done really is twofold. For me, it helps me to manage the property uh, long term. Uh, my goal is to leave this property um, in a manner that um, provides for wildlife. It can be overwhelming for a landowner. Fortunately, I've worked with uh, representatives from a variety of agencies um, that are willing to help me to keep the farm as open space and farm some of the areas but improve the habitat for a species that I now have become more aware of and realize the importance not just for the rabbits but other species of animals and birds. Well, when you look at what young forests provide, they're crucial for the New England cottontail but they're also crucial for 69 other species uh, throughout the Northeast. So not only is it very, very good for those folks, for the, uh, for the uh, New England cottontail, it's also important for reptiles, small mammals, insects, birds, and other species that have been on the, the decline since the uh, early 1900s. The only indigenous species of rabbit is the New England cottontail. So we also relate to them as we are indigenous. We are the indigenous people of this property. Those are our indigenous brothers. This is a species that is becoming less and less common that has the potential to face extinction, but we have the opportunity to reset the clock. Eight years of fruitful efforts to restore young forest and return this native species to a region have led us to the decision that the New England Cottontail does not require Endangered Species Act protection. But this good news does not mean our work is done. Plans are in place to continue the conservation effort, and more success is on the horizon, ensuring New England Cottontails and young forest remain part of our landscape for generations to come.